recording on here. Perfect. Okay. Because I the episode I did with Leanne, this wasn't recording. Oh, no. And it happens more than I would like. Um, but anyways, real quick. Welcome back to Missing the Homies. This is the show. <laughs> Just fully launch into it. Um, oh, man. I don't even have my... Okay, wait, I'll be right back. This is Missing the Homies, uh, the show where I bullshit with my homies. I'm Antonio. Today, my lovely guest is Mallory. Hello. And I'm going to get my mimosa while the intro music runs. All right, now we're back. (laughs) We're back. I should have brought a mimosa, too. Yeah, we're... uh, No, I'm good. Water's good for now. It's early. Nothing. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, today was the first day that me and Renee got to the boat before, or got to the pool before 11, so. Everyone has it. They always, yeah, everyone every- has a day where they're first. Um, so, Mallory, d- I, did I give you the full rundown of what we're doing here, or? Talking no? about our first time being on a cruise, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is my first time on a cruise total. Yeah. But, um, some people here have taken cruises before and some people have taken cruises with the fish grunts Mm -hmm. but so that is kind of the whole setup of this month is that everybody who's sitting in that chair this is their first right this is your first cruise with the fish grunts first well with the the family yeah so that's where we're gonna start how are you on this boat who do you know in the fish grunt family to get on here i am engaged to sam reiner who is grandson of the matriarch, Lini, Lini. <laughs> who we all love. Crazy. Um, so it's my first cruise with the family because we've only been dating since COVID. So there oh. hasn't been one. See, I thought you guys had been dating for a lot longer, but I'm trying to think when. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, because the last time, cause, I mean, I guess when we, like me and Re- well, Renee has known everybody because Renee went, yeah. did, were you at uh, Passover? No, this most recent we one? had COVID, <laughs> so we missed it. So well, that's where so that's where Renee met yeah. everybody. But then I met everybody at the, the family summer. at the family reunion, mm-hmm. which me and Renee's sister totally crashed. Like I didn't know everybody was going to be there. Yeah, when we pulled up, she was like, uh, "No, I was like, oh yeah, because I think we were coming to get bikes or something." Mm-hmm. She's like, "Oh yeah, there's going to be a ton of people. Like nobody will even notice." I was like, "What do you mean there's going to be a ton of people?" And then we wound up staying for the pickleball tournament. And there's, you know, 25 of us, Great. as usual. Uh, so that that was going to be what else I asked. Did, mm-hmm. Have you heard, like, has Sam told stories about this trip? Because they've been taking this trip for 20... Like so, um, Emily's the youngest. It was before she was born. They even started. And she's 22. 22? Yeah. yeah. So have you heard stories about this trip? Oh, yeah. All of the stories. Um, you know, there definitely used to be more rules around it. And mm. it used, the rule used to be no ring, no room. Really? And, you know, as we get older and your relationships are longer in life before you, yeah. like, get engaged and get married, that rule has relaxed. Um, I know, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I, mine's not on, but <laughs> I have a ring, so we get a room. <laughs> but... You know, and then they, you know, they do it every, it was every year. That's what I heard. And then as life changes, it became every two years. Mm -hmm. And you hear about the stories where all the boys had to share a room and they were in bunk beds, pushing each other off the top bunk, like running around the halls, playing hide and seek when they were, you know, 10, 12, 13 years old. All the boys like Max and Sam and. Mm -hmm, Exactly. What? how, How old is Jake? Jake's my age, right? I'm 25. Yeah, Jake's 25. Jake's 25. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then Max is 31, 32. And how old is Sam? Sam's 28. 28. Okay, so 25, 28, and 32. Yeah. Oh, that's not... Yeah, so they were all... Okay, cool. Yeah. And that's so funny that you say that because that's like my... Uh, so do you come from... Do you have a Do you have a big family? I'm an only child, oh, okay. but my mom is one of eight. Oh, okay. So, so you're... And yeah. are you close to all your cousins on that side? We, yeah, we have a really similar vibe to yeah, this so cruise. My brother mm-hmm. or my dad is one of 12. Mm-hmm. So our Christmases are like this cruise, but for one night. Yeah. And so I was like, I was ready for like a crazy, especially after like the, the family uh, like reunion at Jeff's. Uh, I was ready for a crazy time but this is it's been 
every night, every night has been crazy. Um, so what was your, what has, was there anything on this cruise that you weren't expecting or like that you were looking forward to? Because I had no idea what to expect. I had done some TikTok research before <laughs> coming on the cruise. So for those that don't know, Celebrity has some TikTok famous captains. Which you said that, and I had boats. never heard that. Yeah. So they have like one captain in particular, not who's on this boat, who's on another boat, mm. um, who has millions and millions of followers. Great. She gets like 10 million views on her videos. What are her video- like, is um, it about the cruise or is it like her... I want to say cockpit, but I know that's not what it's called. They the call it the bridge, I think. The bridge, okay. I, I learned from TikTok. <laughs> I'm not an expert on boats. But um, so I did some research from TikTok on what to kind of expect. And I actually think this is nicer than really? they let on online. Oh, sick. Um, like, I think the room is a lot nicer. You know, when we got to the room, even Sam was blown away and he's done as we talked about yes so, 22 of these so probably. Many cr- yeah that's what i was expe- like i guess i didn't know what to expect on like for the rooms yeah but the rooms have been so cool i mean like we're like this part they're they're saying how it used to be even emily was telling me last night yeah. that like it used to be like a half wall or i guess kind of you can't see it on you can't see it on here uh but like how they had the like the door separating this veranda yeah um more of a traditional balcony mm -hmm. lanai if you're from hawaii you know (laughs) how many have you been on cruises before or is this your first cruise ever been on one i we think i was i was like eight years old Mm -hmm. um and it was north it was from boston and then it went up into canada maine in canada oh cool um and i do not remember it oh I, i at all not cool yeah no i don't know why because that because that was like renee i mean the yeah. last time renee went was she was nine or something yeah and she said the same thing she like i barely remember it right so um, for all intents and purposes purposes like this is my first cruise first cruise yeah. all right first mm-hmm. cruise gang i love it <laughs> um yeah so i like i was i was so blown away with the whole ship yeah like everything has been so cool even like the food has been pretty good. The food's been pretty good. Yeah. The drinks are. The drinks are good. The drinks are kind of weak, in my opinion, but <laughs> they're good. You got to stick to things in bottles, like wine, beer, et cetera. Mm. So I found out mm-hmm. yesterday that the only beer you can get on the classic package is Bud Light. Oh. That's it. Every other beer, you need the. Uh, did you did you upgrade? I oh. didn't upgrade. Um. Oh. I didn't think it was worth it for me. Either. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not really a beer drinker. I drink like my same two, maybe three drinks. What's your go-to drink? Gin and tonic. All right, yeah. that's what I've been. I have yeah. not had one gin and tonic that has been disappointing this whole time. Right, and like gin preference is like anything but well. So even the well, I feel like has yeah. been good because I haven't. I've upgraded. I mean, I've been giving them mine and Renee's card, and right. sometimes they'll upgrade me. Yeah, but like. I mean, I could taste the difference between the Bombay and the Well, but right. like other than that, it's been pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, is there anything that you're like super looking forward to on this trip? I mean, we're yeah. past the halfway point. We're past the halfway point. Um, I'm absolutely looking forward to the boat in um, getting off the big boat. The to big <laughs> boat to a smaller sailboat in the Bahamas. Very excited. So, what's the um, what islands are because I've never I this is. As f- far as i've ever been yeah i don't know where we're i just said yes that was the other thing for this whole trip every all of my friends were like so where are you going what islands are you stopping i'm like i don't know i'm i'm getting out of boat and i'm gonna go with the vibes same i I did download the app like the day before i was like okay i guess (laughs) this is where we're going that's better than renee renee downloaded the app as we got on the boat right um but so what are we so Mm -hmm. where in the bahamas or is it just the Bahamas? It's just the Bahamas. The Bahamas. We're we're docking in Nassau, which is okay. you know where all the classic stuff is. Atlantis is there, and oh. Bahamar, and all of those things, um, which I've been to before for the first time this year. Oh, cool! Um, on a bachelorette party, the Atlantis or the 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 other one, the SLS other one. Bahamar, which is mm. newer, but they have like a water park, very what you think Atlantis is. This is that on a smaller That's scale. What grant was telling me about that atlantis is the one with the huge slide that like yeah. goes into the water that would be sick yeah 
Um, honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that we don't have slides, but also I think I would be too nervous. I I wouldn't do it. I couldn't I couldn't even do no. uh, a water park when I went with my cousins yeah. on the ground. And then the idea of a lot of these boats have slides that go like off the side of the boat Fuck and no. back Absolutely on. Absolutely not. I like my feet on that just, solid ground. That made my stomach turn. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Are we in the Bahamas now? I don't even know. Where no, we're, we're in the British Virgin Islands now. British Virgin Islands. Okay. Yeah. And we're at S- no, we were at Saint S- Saint Matthew. Yes. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Martin yesterday Martin or yesterday? today? Yesterday. That was yesterday. Where are we today? Tortola. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. this is the place where we were originally going to sail. Yeah, I tried really hard. <laughs> Can't win them all. Yeah. No. Last minute planning for twenty six people is uh, difficult. <laughs> Uh, so Mel, do you have anything else before I think I, let me see. Yeah, we, we're about where we've been at. Do you have anything else that you're looking forward to or, um, that you weren't expecting on this, on this trip? Wasn't expecting the, uh, the need for a seasickness patch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, how, how many, how long did it take you to, to need one? Cause I thought uh, I was going to need one too. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to need one because we go on, um, the Reiners do a boat share, so we go on oh. their little boat share all summer long, and I'm always fine. How big of a boat is it? Uh, fits like 12 people. Oh, okay. So like a decent sized boat yeah. to where like you would feel you the... You would feel it, yeah. And then, I don't know, a day and a half in, I called it. It was like, I need it. Put it on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Is it is it the whole sleeping thing, or is it like throughout the day do you feel it? Um, I mostly feel it in the rooms when we're not sleeping. Mm. If we're moving, like right now, we're not moving. Yeah, I'm totally fine. F- yeah. Um, but when we're going back and forth, I've I've been yeah. feeling it. I mean, it makes sense, but the higher the higher up I go, and especially in the yeah. hallways, the hallways I feel like are the, trippy. I feel like the hallways are bending yeah it feels like i'm uh, it feels like inception how you know yes. the scene where they like flip it totally is it's crazy and i got off on the wrong side oh and yeah. that's the thing this boat is tripping me out like this boat is i mean i was expecting a big boat but like this is insane fucking massive like i got off yeah. on the wrong side of the elevator and i was walking the same way that i normally would that way and I, j- I walked for like five minutes. I'm like, where the fuck? I'm, I'm looking at the room numbers. I'm like, this is the this is the wrong side. Yeah. And it took me like a- another 10 minutes to get to here just to like grab some stuff. It's, this boat is insane. And the, pro- the problem for me is too, I'm also super dyslexic. So every time you get <laughs> off the elevator, like evens and odds are fine. Like yeah. it tells you, okay, we're on the even side of the boat. Yeah. But then looking at the numbers, trying to decide which way I'm supposed to go, right or left. Oh my lost. God. Unless someone was with me. Or we or or I see one of the napkins. Um, we put napkins on all of our doors so that we know it's the each leanie, other. The Lini signal. Yeah, the Lini squad, so she knows she can like knock on our doors and it's one of us. Oh, is that what it was for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was saying, I thought she was saying something like, "If you see the the napkin, that means we're by the pool or something." But no, it's just to know. It's, it's like it's just a, a, it started when they were all really little, so that they could. Just if they needed an adult, they like knew oh. what room to kind of go to. Oh, that's so smart. Um, or if the adults needed to find one of the children, yeah, the many, were... many children, they could find them. So what mm. was the original? So what's the the original group is there's Michelle. Yeah. Or who's the old? Michelle's, Michelle's the, the oldest. Michelle. Marcy. Marcy. Mark. Mm-hmm. Max. Max. Sam, Sam, Jake, mm-hmm. uh, Ju- not not Julia, Jesse, Julia, Emily. Emily. Mm-hmm. So those nine. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I can't. Yeah. Be- I can't imagine like all uh, all because I mean Emily. Emily would have been a baby. baby. Yeah. Emily would have been a baby. All eight of those mm-hmm. kids just running around. That's like me and my cousins. Yeah. Like I remember we used to go to this uh, old hotel mm-hmm. and it was like, honestly, it was like the same thing as this. Like right. just a bunch of kids running around. Running around. And now it's a bunch of adults Doing laying, the ar- same thing. laying around and laying trying to around, find Lenny. <laughs> trying to find Lenny, trying to find drinks. <laughs> oh, speaking of drinks, I, I think... We, I, I'm ready to get back and re-up my uh, mimosa. It stopped raining, it looks like, so. 
Yeah, they probably moved back out into the sun. Yeah. Um, well, Mallory, thank you for thank you for doing this. Thank think, you, Antonio. <laughs> I think this is gonna be really cool at the end, and I'm really, really, yeah. really gonna try and get Greg because I feel like, you know, it, it's getting harder. I I know with my family, it's getting harder the older we get to do all of these, yeah. to do big stuff with like the group. So like, I feel like having this little time capsule of this trip would be cool to like give to Jeff and Jody as and, a present. Uh, I think that would be great. Jared. Yeah. So thank you for doing this. Of course. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank All right. you. We'll be back in the next episode with whoever says ne- yes next. <laughs> thank you, Mallory.